What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Team Solomon Circus Live video. Tell me the left side here. We have Cheer Elements, a deck that got recently upgraded with the ban of a Rise Heart. And on the right side here, we have Dragon Link, a deck that has been uh, doing pretty good for a while now, but losing a Magnemut as well as the Chaos Space is going to make it harder for us to, to combat Cheer Elements. Before we dive in, over to like, comment, subscribe. And we're going to be already seeing Cheer Elements going to be going first here, already having the advantage, you know, having the. Foolish, then we're gonna have the Trippy Karma, Banish to search for the copy of Planet, activate Planet, search for the Shire in here. Um, going to be just diving right in, you know, we don't waste any time here. Shire is gonna activate its effects, pitching a Rhino, milling three, hitting a Silic as well as a Murley here, um, and a Shuffler, which will make it harder for any of our tier monsters to get now. Um, hit with a bestial here uh, magnemite's very important that the we ended up seeing it get hit because it's not only one but it's two like tier loves playing on uh on their opponent's turn as well so magnemite used to be two bestials essentially here you know being able to hit like a ball drake or a copy of druis firm um and then you know being able to banish the druis like you're just able to like do so much and then you can like loop your magnemites um and see it summon out the Rhino, activate and send the um, copy of the Heartbeat. Heartbeat can activate as well as Rhino to add back the copy of the Solik here. Not even activating the Murley. Um, they can, you know, add it back later with uh, one of the tier effects. And then they can also just uh, send it with Sprint here. I see them send the tier cash to the graveyard here. So maybe already having the happiness in the hand, and then it's going to be milling uh, tier cash, going to be milling a um, kaiju as well as a scream. Then we're going to activate the tier cash, banishing a scream, and then milling three, milling another kaiju, a rhino, and then a scream once again here. Then we're going to go into redoer here. Redoer can activate effects, which will be. Uh, They'll be making the Shiren live, but we're just going to pass on this. Now I'm going to go standby face, and they're going to steal the Chaos Space. The one of Chaos Space. That is crazy. I mean, having it in Grave is going to be very good as well, though. Um, so not, not that bad. We're going to see a Dragon Ravine going to be activated here. Then we're going to be pitching the Absa Router. How can we open Absa Router all the time? We're not opening like Magnemot. They're both one ofs. Dumping the Soranir, and then we can activate both effects here, Soranir, as well as the Absa Router. Dumping the Levy and searching for a Rocket Tracer here. Searching Recharger. Maybe we have two in hand, or we have the boots so we can, you know, summon off quickly. We're going to be seeing them. We're almost on the safer, and then we're going to be seeing, I think that's Meta Noise flipping it face down here. They're going to send the Happiness from the deck. Happiness effect can then activate. It's going to be putting the Rhino and itself in the Murley to summon out the Kaleido Heart. Um, and here you can actually go Kaleido Heart and Planet 1 and 2, respectively popping and then, you know, shuffling back. And then that can get us the Kaleido Heart effect once again. So we're shuffling back the Safert with the planet here. Or I think with Kaleido Heart, my bad. Yeah, with the Kaleido Heart. Yeah, planet's not popping anything. They're going to be activating the Boot Sector launch here. And we do have Silic, so that's what's going to be sending the... the and then we're going to be activating the Shuffler here. Putting back Lubellion. Meta Noise and Tear Cash. And our opponent's just going to scoop it up right away here, realizing that they're going to be able to then pop the Boot Sector launch, and that's just going to be game right then and there. Um, I always forget that you can always just trigger your Tear cards. I really actually am liking like seeing how Tear plays. Um, I might end up playing it, or at least testing it. It doesn't really seem like it loses a lot, and I do love gas type of decks. 
Um, you know, I've been playing Dark World for a while off and on. Um, I do love Fusion Summoning. That's why I'm on Branded a lot. And I got really bored of Unchained. Like, I ended up playing it for a long time. You guys saw on the POVs. Um, and then just got really, like, boring. Like, I'm tired of just losing to, like, one Ultimate Slayer or a book. And just having a... Having not that much fun with it anymore. And I, I, I can't stand seeing Shyama. But I've seen that some of the builds... The tier builds are actually playing Shyama now as well um, in their main deck. So, But they can always discard it off of any really card effects or the, you know, with the dangers you can also hit it. Um, so not being that bad. And I learned a cool interaction with, uh, with the Shyama as well as the Kaleidoheart. Because Kaleidoheart is a fiend. But going into game two here, we're going to be seeing the dragon player to be going first. Hopefully having a few bestials this time to combat those tier element cards. We're going to see a normal summon of red, linking off into Striker Dragon, chain link one, chain link two, searching for red MD as well as, or do we already have boot in the hand here? So no effect of Striker Dragon, that's unfortunate. Activate regained here, banish to summon, putting back and then drawing a card, we drew into safer which is a normal summon. Then we're going to be linking away for a Romulus. Romulus can then search us for the Ravine here. Which we're going to be have the Striker Dragon. Uh, we're going to have the uh, the Safer here for a nice discard. We can activate here for Dragon Ravine. Discarding the Safer. And then we can dump actually store in here or Levy. Or not Levy in here. But we're going to see the Abs Rider. And then Abs Rider is going to be searching for Rocket Tracer. We could have also dumped the Lubellion here as well. We're going to see Sornir activates effects here, banishing the Absorber to summon himself out. So this is how we're going to get the Lubellion access. Then we're going to go into Boot, Boot Summon, link away into Bestial, the Spotter. Um, we're going to be banishing the Seyfert to add Levy, act, or not Levy, add Lubellion, activate Lubellion, search for the Magnumut. Bistial Spader is going to be summoning out the Seyfert here. Safer effects going to activate. It's going to be tributing us off to grab the white dragon. They're going to be banishing the black to summon out the white. Link away for the pisty here. Then it's going to search for the black. Then we can banish. Who do we banish here? We banish the white maybe. And we could go Magnumut if we wanted to. Yeah, we're going to see the Magnumut summoned here. And then we're going to get the Magnumut effect. Then we can link those for a triple burst. Or going for a seals here. What? Then Banish the Bone and summon up Black. Then we're going to go into a Striker Dragon here. Then we're going to be summoning back with the uh, Pisty. Pist uh, we're going to see... Let's pop here, bring out the recharger. I mean, I guess this can get us to the five uh, Boreland here. see them go with the pisty line or not the pisty line they're gonna go for triple burst and then they're gonna activate the effect of the striker dragon add back and then we're gonna see recharge or trigger um, then we can summon out the tracer here just trying to get the triple burst in the graveyard I guess Then we're going to see a pass here. Okay. We're going to see them special summon out the Fenrir. Then we could trigger the regain if we wanted to. Which we are going to be seeing a regain. is summon out the Dispatter here. Then we're going to for the effect of the Cash Tier. Searching for the Tier Cash. Which was kind of what I was worried about there. You know, wanting to search for a Tier Monster is quite, quite good here. 
a lot of maybe players forget that it can do that because normally searching itself. Looks like we're thinking a bit here. We're going to activate Palmerization. Sending three, I was going to say Droll. We're going for a Guardian Chimera here. Um, and then we're going to attempt to activate the effects. And we cannot target the Guardian Chimera, I believe. So, And we can Chain Block here by Chain Link 1, Guardian Chimera. Chain Link 2 going to be the Tear Cache. Chain link three is going to be seals. We still got the draw and pop. And we do hit heartbeat as well as scream. Wondering what they're gonna pop here. I mean, they could pop, yeah, pop in the Bistial to spatter here. Then we're gonna go chain link one, scream, chain link two, sears, fears. So I'm gonna search for a copy of Solik, I believe. And they're gonna summon out a copy of. The sword here. Interesting that we didn't go for a... We're going to see the planet activate here. Searching for the Chirin. Chirin is such a crazy card, you know, being able to discard itself. And we're going to see a triple tack here, taking the Boral End. That is that is crazy for a card. Um, you know, triple tack taking the Boral End here is going to be probably enough to take the game, to be honest. Foolish bro, oh my gosh. Sending the Agito, and we're going to see them mill five each, and we do hit the abs. No, we don't. We hit Safer. I thought it was Abs Red, but I realized Abs Red is already in gray. We hit the Levy. Um, but we hit another Kelback. Holy. Scream. I think that is Tear Cash, Solik, and the Kaleido here. So then we're going to search for another Tear Cash. And we're going to hit another five here. We hit Planet, Magnemut, Havnus, and Druid's Ram, as well as Rhino Heart. So we're going to be activating the effect here of the um, Havnus. We're going to chain our Bestial. We're going to chain the Tear Cache. And then they're going to be banishing the Havnus. And we get to summon out the Rhino, and then Rhino has to send the Merle that's in the hand. But we're also going to get Tear Cash on the field effect as well. So dumping the Merle here, pretty nice. Do we have a second Bistial to snipe that Merle is the question. Happen is going to be put to the bottom of the deck here with the Regain, though. They're going to make a Muddy. And we drew into, I believe that's a quick launch. This game should be over here. Like, we have so much advantage on our opponent uh, compared to, like, what we have. They're going to go Battle Phase, Attack. Oh, no, they're popping with Planet. Okay. They're going to go for the Shark. And they're just going to go into the Totally Awesome here. I'm going to say, there's no way they battle here. It's planet pop. Makes sense. But do they have enough for game? I know that the Bahama chart cannot attack. We still have the Shiren, Shiren pitch, and maybe send. Back for Sharon sending the. No, we don't hit anything here, but they're just going to go battle phase and they're going to go 
attack per game, and that's just going to be enough here. We're going to be seeing Tier Elements taking it 2-0, even through the Bistules here. You know, we saw Magnumut resolve. Maybe Magnumut should have stayed at 3. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see some more content like this, don't forget to stay safe. Peace.